Continuing with GED practice, number nine. Triangle ABC is what type of triangle? So we need to solve and find what these angle measures are equal to. So the way we'll do that is we know that a triangle has 180 degrees. This is always the case. So what we can do is solve for these x values by adding them all together, because we know whatever this is plus this plus this has to equal 180. So we'll apply that here. So 2x plus 6x plus 4x equals 180. Adding these up, 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 12x equals 180. So now we can divide by 12, divide by 12. And let's see what x equals. 180 divided by 12. So our answer is going to be 15. So each one of these values is 15. So I'm going to go back and so plug in each one of these angle measures so I can get an accurate reading of what each angle measure is. Because a lot of times these triangles are not drawn to scale, so never make any assumptions. So 2x, 2 times 15 is 30. So that's a 30 degree. 6 times 15, let's just double check. 6 times 15 is 90. So this angle is 90 right here. And 4 times 15 is 60. So this one is 60 here. So this is very important right here. If we have a 90 degree angle inside a triangle, that automatically means it's a right triangle. That is the definition of a right triangle. So for our answer options, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that it's going to be right. Obtuse, just as a quick review, obtuse means that the largest angle is bigger than 90, so it's 90 plus degrees. It's bigger, over 90. Equiangular means each angle is 60 degrees. 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180. They all have to be the same to be equiangular. Isosceles means that two angles are the same. And then, of course, a right triangle means that it has 90 degrees exactly inside it. The other option is acute, and that means that the largest angle inside the triangle is less, it's less than 90 degrees. Using the less than sign. Less, I, less than 90 degrees. Okay. Number 10. A 1.5 gallon jug needs to be filled with water. If the jug is filled one pint at a time, how many pints are needed to fill the jug? Okay, so let's take a look here. First, okay, so we know we have 1.5 gallons. We know there's four quarts in one gallon. And we know, let me see, one pint at a time. Okay, we know that one quart is equal to two pints. So here's our little conversion chart. So we'll say 1.5 gallons times four quarts. That'll give us the total amount in quarts. So we'll say 1.5 times 4 quarts in each one of those. That equals 6 quarts in the 1.5 gallons. We multiplied it times 4 per gallon. Now we're going to multiply the quarts by 2 because 1 quart is equal to 2 pints. So each one of these quarts is going to have 2 pints in it. So that will equal 12 pints. That'll be our answer, B, 12 pints. All right, number 11. Simplify the following expression. So this is an order of operations problem, and um, if you recall PEMDAS, that gives you an idea of the order which you should do things. So I'm gonna write that right here, PEMDAS. Each one of these represents an operation. 
parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So these must always be done in this order first, top to bottom. So I'm going to rewrite this. And we're going to solve it based on the order of operations. So first thing is P, parentheses. So let's solve the parentheses first. So we'll have 5 minus 2 times. This is going to be 3 minus 5 is negative 2 to the third power plus 2 squared minus negative 11. Okay, the next thing is E, exponents. So we're going to say 5 minus 2 times negative 2 to the third power, you can put this in your calculator, but that's going to equal negative 8 plus 2 squared is 4 minus negative 11. Now we do m, multiplication. So 5, now we have minus 2 times negative 8. So that's going to be positive 16 plus 4 and anytime you have two negatives sitting next to each other like this, it's automatically plus positive. Minus minus is equivalent to plus positive. This is just a rule in math, so something to get used to. Now we can just add these all up together. So 5 plus 16 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. And 25 plus 11 is 36. So our answer for number 11 is 36. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Best wishes in your study.